Hello, welcome to the Household of Faith, week 12 of our daily devotional videos. This week we are going to be talking about our natural talents and abilities in relation to our calling. And we're going to read from Romans chapter 12. I love Romans chapter 12. It's so wonderful. Because at this point, Paul begins to really outline and um, go through some of the things that he has previously discussed. But we're not going to get into that right now. Verse 3 tells us, and we're going to be reading from the Passion Translation today. God has given me grace to speak a warning about pride. I would ask each of you to be emptied of self-promotion and not create a false image of your importance. Instead, honestly assess your worth by giving your God-given faith I'm sorry, by using your God-given faith as the standard of measurement, and then you will see your true value with an appropriate self-esteem. That seems pretty straightforward. You know, there are some people who are multi-talented and some people like the, the parable <laughs> of the talents. And that's about money. But there are people who have multiple talents in life and some people who have only one and can't figure out, you know, what that one is. And then you have some people who have multiple talents and they have so many that it creates an issue for them. And no matter what your talent or ability is, and I like to think of it as like, what is it that you really love to do and that you do well, that you just do because you enjoy it? A lot of those things we pick up along the way. We pick up hobbies and things like that. Myself, uh, I love uh, crocheting and uh, loom knitting and, you know, creating things. But... I've always kind of liked that. You know, I used to paint when I was a teenager, and I got pretty good with doing birds. <laughs> and see, I, I was actually very good with birds, and I could have gone, you know, further with it. And um, my first love of creative crafts was sewing. I mean, I really, that was my first love, and I sewed, and I sewed, and I sewed for years. And the only reason I'm not still sewing is because I just don't have the space to sew. Once I get more space, then I will start sewing again. I am positive because there are some things that I would love to make for myself. And just as what, like I enjoy crocheting and uh, loom knitting things for myself as well. But that's just, but God gave me a gift, a skill set. And when I want to learn something, I, you know, especially if it involves manual dexterity, I can do it, and I can do it well. And I, I wear the things that I make when I make jewelry. I wear the jewelry when I make when I crochet or knit. I, I wear what I make for myself, and so that people can, you know, see it. You know, I make things for other people, but I wear what I make for myself, and I enjoy it. I don't think I'm the best or the top because I'm not. I I need to work on it and when I want to learn something new, I, I go to YouTube like most people and I look at some videos and some things, uh, once I learn to stitch and then I'll freestyle and make my own things out of it, which is something that helps to keep me in perspective because I see people's work that is like, oh my God, they make my work look like a beginner. And this is what Paul is talking about. I have faith that tells me I can learn how to do anything that I want to. Because if I can read and understand what it's telling me to do or watch it and understand, I can learn it. That doesn't make me overly proud or give me a big head. It's just simply that I can do. And I know that I can do because God has instilled that inherent ability inside of me. And... Not just those type of things, but working on the computer and, you know, any anything that involves a creative process. God has really given gifted me in that area. And I say God because these are specific to God. I mean, 
we're not separating God from the Holy Spirit or God from Jesus. We're just talking about what God gave us from the foundation of the world. Those things that he put in us to make us who we are in order to, in order for us to advance his kingdom because that is our purpose. There are people out in the world who are musicians and they're very creative and very talented, but God gave them that ability. That is not something that they got, or, or even if they learned how to play an instrument and they think they learned it on their own, God gave them that ability from the beginning to do that. And that's something we need to understand. Part of our talents and abilities are based upon what God has put inside of us, and they're based upon the call that God has placed on our lives. Now, I hope that's clear. As you know, clear, what do you say, clear as mud? No, but truly. What we are going to be delving further into as this, you know, over the next six days is some of the specifics of the abilities that God has given us and how they work in conjunction with the calling he has placed on our life. Not against, but it works there. And a lot of these natural talents and abilities, they are gifts from God, truly. They manifest themselves in our lives. And as I already stated, there are people out in the world doing things. God gave them that. It was never his purpose for them to use it for their own gain, but always designed to advance his kingdom. He always had that plan to do that. And once we become members of the body of Christ, and we're one in the spirit we then begin to expand on that. Not in the way it's done in the world, but the way it's done in the body. And we want to be clear about that. Okay? Well, that's all we have for today. And we're going to continue on with uh, verse 4 tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day.